Well, how does it look? Like a hurricane. Oh, my God! Who would do this? Probably the same people have been digging up the surrounding property. Obviously, they've taken over the whole mountainside, camping out, pitching their tents, staking claims. They must be looking for the gold. Yes, thank you, Melinda Kramer, for broadcasting to the whole world that there's gold buried here. Oh, Vicky, look. This was your favorite face. Well, I can replace this. I could replace all the things here. But what about the beauty of nature outside? How do we ever restore any of that? That's right. The site Cord and I picked for our new house. I mean, we used to have such a beautiful view looking, looking at the trees and the hills. Now we're just going to look at a bunch of ugly holes in the ground. OK, this is going to stop. Why? Who are you calling? The mountain, the, the state troopers. I mean, this gold rush fever's got to, we got to put an end to this. Now, the line's dead. Somebody must have cut the wire. We're going to have to report this in person. Well, what have we got here? Trying to move in on me, huh? Who are you? It don't matter who I am. You're trespassing on my land. Now, I already laid claim to this cabin, and I want you out of here. Now! How dare you? Let me handle this, Vicky. Now, this is private property, mister. This cabin and the surrounding property belongs to Vicky Buchanan. What? Is that supposed to make some sort of difference to me? Yeah, it better. You're going to be facing serious charges of vandalism and trespassing. Yeah, well, first this Buchanan dame's got to catch me. Yes, I already have. I am Victoria Buchanan. You have destroyed my land and my home, and I demand that you leave here immediately. And I suggest you do what she says. <laughs> she demands, and you suggest. Well, what do you say, cutie? Don't you come near me. I tell you what. You turn around, and you walk out of here, mister, while you still can. Put the gun down. Do you hear me? I hear you all right. This little baby's my insurance that you and your friends are going to take a hike. I have told you, this is my home. We are not going anywhere. Well, that's a real bad decision, lady. Because I've already staked my claim to this area, and I'm not about to have you move in on my chances to get my hands on the gold. Now just leave real quiet, all of you. And I won't have to use this. Did you, what do you think you're ordering around? Shut up. I will not honey, shut up. Honey, shut up. No, I'm going to... I said put a lid on it. You'll be... Roger, oh, no, watch out! Gee. Say your prayers, pal. Hey, yo! <laughs> get off! You're breaking my hand! I'll break it off more than that if you don't get me out of here! Yeah, do it, she said, pal. Now hit the road and never come back. You haven't seen the last of me. I'll be back. Along with everybody else looking to find that gold. We all get as much wet to this treasure as you do. If you ever show your face around here again, I'll have you arrested so fast, you won't know what hit you. Hey, you get out of here. Go on, get out. Oh, get, 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 get. Oh. Roger, are you all right? Uh, yeah, 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 I'm fine. Uh, how about you, Tina? You are? I'm fine. Vicky? Yes, I'm fine. Why on earth did you take such a terrible chance? He could have killed you. Roger, what happened to you when you were fighting with him? What do you mean? Well, you just suddenly stopped fighting. I was so frightened for you. You seemed almost, I don't know, catatonic. No, I was just hit with an incredible headache. A headache? But you were talking about Eterna. Why? Well, Eterna is the reason for all this, isn't it? The gold, I mean. That's why that man was up here, and obviously dozens of others along with him. Yeah, but someone's got to stop them. Or they're going to turn this beautiful mountain into just a wasteland. Tina's right. They all have to be stopped fast. Well, not by you. You've certainly done enough. We're going to take you to the hospital right now. No, 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 Vicky. I feel fine. Well, I'd like to hear Larry tell me that, okay? No, no. All he'll tell me to do is just take a couple of aspirin and get some rest, and that's exactly what I was planning on doing now. Uh... Let's get back to town. There's nothing more for us to do up here. <laughs> Wouldn't it be fun to chase all those creeps off the mountain with their own tools and shovels? I'm afraid it's going to take a lot more than that to stop those gold diggers.
Let's go. Excuse me, Phil. Sure, yeah. thanks for everything. That's all right, thanks. Honey, hi, how you doing? Uh, how was it being up in the mountain? Honey, it was horrible. I mean, all our plans for our wonderful new dream home, they're all just destroyed. Come on, I, gotta, I need to talk to you. Let's go upstairs. Yeah, sure. We are never going to hear the end of this damn eternal place, aren't we? I mean, first, all those reporters are pounding all over us, and, and then Melinda goes on the air. She makes this announcement about all the gold that's being buried in that mountain, and now we got all these gold diggers digging up our land. I can't believe it. You know, I'm real glad that we're going to Milan for a while. I'm glad we're going to be out of this town. 